tips is that Renishaw doesn't give you a certified size on it. Mm -hmm. right, it's eight millimeters and you take it or, or leave it. You know, if it's plus or minus a, a couple microns, they're not going to disclose it. Um, the ones from, from Keyence we do, we, we put them on our IM6145, like high resolution IM, and certify them out to four digits that we know exact size. Um, so there's always that, that little bit of, well, what if it's a couple microns, you know, one way or the other. Um, for the, the ones you buy straight from from Renishaw. but in some cases like the eight millimeter, we don't have a we don't have a we don't sell them, we don't certify them. Uh, all right, so to what I'm doing here, a plane to start, mm -hmm. and then single point circles, and that single point circle tool tool, you just take a point, mm -hmm. and it rests in the in the hole. Mm -hmm. You hit OK, and you're done. So there you go. You have to do a, you have to click the single point button every time. Each time. Or you do this OK next, which okay. means give me this one and move on to the next one. Or, I'm sorry, finish that, what it does in the element tree, it finishes single point circle of two and it starts the next one, single point circle of three. So the hand motion for that, you're putting in sequence, you click the single point element. Mm -hmm. Take my point. Put in the hole, hit measure. Okay. Um, make sure the base plane is correct. Okay. In this case, we only have one one plane. Mm -hmm. If we had had another plane, I'd say we had a plane down there, and mm -hmm. I tried to do it. It gives me a big fail because that point never crosses that plane. Gotcha. Yeah, because what this tool is doing is it's it knows the ball size, it knows how far down you went from the plane mm -hmm. you took the point, it knows the middle of it, so it mathematically cal calculates. All right, what's the Circle at that intersection height of that sphere. Mm -hmm. um, delete this. Actually, I'll move this plane up to the top. How you reorder things usually doesn't really matter. Mm -hmm. Like for planes, especially, if I tried to move this single point circle up, mm -hmm. it would fuss at me because I'm using plane zero, 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 001 as the yeah, it's, you have a there. parent child relationship That's that right. you have to follow. Yep. <coughs> Coming here, single <coughs> tool, single point circle. And you can kind of see which ones I've already done mm -hmm. on there, but if I can't, I can turn the camera on and say, okay, I already measured that one, so I need to pick up here. And then either OK Next or holding the OK button mm -hmm. does the same thing, where it finishes the element you're currently working on and moves you to the next element. So in the hole, hit Measure. Hit OK. Mm -hmm, okay. Or OK Next if you're doing a sequence of them. Got it. see multiple multiples of these at the same time and come in and say like just click and drag over it and see you know kind of all the sizes stacked to all against each other. Mm -hmm. They're all 240 plus or minus a few a few thou. One almost bigger. Yeah this 06 here was 29.77. Uh, this guy was 30 yeah, thou, 40 thou bigger. That one at the corner. Mm -hmm. Okay so now I've got Points and I've got x y positions. Um, the x y zero x y z positions right now are off of a center point. Yeah, you know, our machine coordinates, which don't really mean anything except that's the zero point for the machine and it calls it off off of that. If you wanted to set one of them or some series of them as as datums as mm -hmm. a as a, a fixed um, change your coordinate setting from your z stage to your part, mm -hmm. that's where this coordination tab is. Okay. And you've got a few different options for doing it. The most robust one is the specified coordinate, mm -hmm. where you tell it a base plane, a base axis, and an origin, and then it uses that to set your, your coordinate settings. So we know we have a base plane because we set it. That's right. Your mm -hmm. base axis is... Not set yet. We don't have a line so far to clock our, our with X. Okay, on. so if we drew a line through these points, mm -hmm. which look like they're in a row... Mm -hmm. You can do one of two ways. We'll do the, the simpler one first, which mm -hmm. is you, you actually measure a line. So we mm -hmm. can come back to basic and click line, make sure our base plane is what we expect it to be, and then we'll say we want it off of this left. You know, so it's hanging out too far. I'm taking three points on this line. It tells me right 
right here, mm -hmm. so kind of above the, the dots required versus recommended. Mm -hmm. Always make sure you've got one more than the minimum, okay? Because that gives you an element of shape. Mm -hmm. In this case, it tells me straightness, which, considering it's kind of a tough target to measure, I'm, I'm really looking to see if I made a straight line off of those four points. Did mm -hmm. I slip off one way or the other? Four thousand, a little bit more than I would have expected or wanted. So I'm going to try it again. Yeah, two tenths. That makes me feel better that I didn't slip off, you know, one side or the other. That it's a pretty darn straight line. Mm -hmm. uh, so I could use that line as my as my base axis. Mm -hmm. And now what it shows me here, it will pick for a origin. We'll just pick this one. I can click on the screen to to pick it, uh, or click from the, the drop down here. Um, so it's using the line to to clock the X. The circle there is the zero point, mm -hmm. and the plane is the X and the Z zero. Now, if I wanted to do <coughs> to get a little bit more advanced to create a virtual line that goes between those, mm -hmm. um, one of the exercises that we provide does show you again how to do this. But here in your virtual figures, you've got twenty options. The most, probably the most used, are uh, besides the really simple ones like midpoints or intersection points. Um, are these down here, this element specification line and element mm -hmm. specification circle. Mm -hmm. So element specification lines means you're going to specify a line using exi existing elements. Mm -hmm. So you pick your base plane, which we want it to be the same base plane as everything else, and then just click which, uh, from the drop down here, click what uh, other elements you want to be to, to make up this, this particular element you're creating. So, so we line between circle one and circle two, or a line between circle one, circle whichever the one, last one this one is. The next, uh, whatever the next, the last one. This okay. one right here. Oh, I don't I'll need that twice. I need that. Yeah. And now I can also look at the straightness of that because mm -hmm. I've got three points on it and say, all right, those are not exactly straight. They're pretty darn close within three thou. Yeah, three point seven thou. Um, so, you you choose if you want that to be lined up or you know, if that's good enough. Mm -hmm. um, so, assuming that it is, mm -hmm. then how do you tell it that is the axis instead of the other axis? Sure. So you could do either come in here and uh, move your coordinates below your new line that you just created, mm -hmm. and then just edit it. Which you can do by double clicking or or right clicking it and going to edit. And just tell it, all right, instead of that one, I want to use this, what it default calls line spec 02 mm -hmm. uh, as my base axis. Okay. And you can choose if you want to be your, yeah, your Y going through there or your X. Or, mm -hmm. so it's, or if, if you, say if you've got a print that's got like a A, B, C, D, E, F datums on it that you're trying to inspect, you'd have one specified coordinate and by the time you got through your A, B, C datums, and then if you know, as you get to add some more data to it, you could just do another coordinate setting later on. So you just, it's just going to add a, another one. So you can have as many coordinate changes as you want to if you get into some really complex parts. But for what you're doing, yeah, this is fine. Okay. And so what I probably want to do then is move, um, like kind of reorder some of this. Mm -hmm. Like move uh, 8 and 9 just below 1, and then move my line spec. Uh, o2 and the specified coordinates below nine, mm -hmm. so that then these other ones, as they're they're called out, because up until this point, like by click single point circle zero zero one, mm -hmm. kind of the x y z coordinates that are there are based off of the machine coordinates. Um, as we go now that we've set it here, it's based off of the the center x y of the part. So now if I so now all the X, Y, Z coordinates of all those holes are based on that coordinate system and line that we put in. All the ones that come after the, the specified coordinate, so two through two through seven. So, you so for one through for one through uh, one, eight, and nine, really, if you if you're trying to plot those out, well, mm -hmm. let me back up. Um, if we go to save this, and we save as um, a measurement point list <clears throat> if you wanted the whole positions. Mm -hmm. um, 
you can output everything via the machine coordination, mm -hmm. which from a reverse engineering standpoint is probably the simplest way to do it. Got it. Because I've got X, Y, Z coordinates. Some of them are positive, some of them are negative, but they're all, relatively speaking, they'll all be... They're all relative to each other okay. somehow. Okay. And yeah, the spacing between each other is going to be true. And honestly, when I model this, the model is going to have these coordinates, but on the print, it's going to have a different set of coordinates. Okay. Because on the print, I'll just select one. One as your starting yeah. point. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I can dimension the print independently of how I dimension the model, or how the model is modeled. Yeah, so for, if you're trying to bring this out as a model, the simplest way is just save it as a measurement point list. Mm -hmm. And then you've got output via machine coordination mm -hmm. instead of work coordination. Work mm -hmm. coordination... Is um, from the tree. That's right, from, okay. the, from the tree. Um, so like if we... Yeah, these, they change the way that it's set up. And if, if we look at eight, uh, 1, 8, and 9, mm -hmm. if I change that setting from machine coordination to work coordination, mm -hmm. notice the numbers don't change. Right. Which is confusing, but... Uh, there is a way to, to, to copy it. Like, uh, I'm hesitate to go down this road because I'm so complicating it, but uh, I could create individual points. Uh, recreate those points. Recreate those, yeah. Further down. That's right. Okay. So I could come in just do a numerical input of a point, mm -hmm. and what that lets you do is just copy an element, which mm -hmm. there's not many uses where you'd want to, but this is one of the few of them where I'd say, just give me a copy of single point circle of one, and, and call, yeah, but call it there, and you notice now the coordinates of point X, point Y, and point Z are zero, 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 because that's mm -hmm. origin. And I would do that again for element number eight. And then nine. But it puts it at the bottom of the tree? That's right. Okay. But it's basically it's letting you have those on there with their new coordinate settings, you know, mm -hmm. the, with their position relative to the updated coordinate settings. Got it. Yeah. 